Okay, so here we go. Uh, in this one, we're going to be solving for n in a geometric sequence, and it's for solving for a general term formula. This one right here. Okay, so in this one, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be given information, and we're going to be given the first term, the common ratio, uh, one of the general terms, and we want to figure out what n is. Now, n in this case, it, it can be number of it can be number of days, it can be number of years. Um, it's not going to specifically say solve for n. All right, so let's look at this problem here. We got the town's population starts at 10,500. That's where we're going. That's our starting point, and it's growing at a rate of four and a half percent per year. Uh, when meaning meaning n, after how many years will it be over 20,000? Okay, so let's start with what we know. We know the first term. We know the first term is going to be 10,500. Okay. Um, and we know, oh, we also know that after, after a certain number of years, I don't know how many years, but after a certain number of years, it's, when, when is it going to be 20,000? So that is t to the n, that 20,000 that 20,000 is the term, but I don't know how many years it's going to take to get there. And that's what we're going to figure out. Um, common ratio, and this is what I've been going over, 4.5% uh, four, four increase, 4.5% uh, growing at 4.5% means that it's 100% plus 4.5%, which equals 104.5% which means my common ratio as a decimal, which I wanted as a decimal, is 1.045. And for those of us who forgot how to get a percent to a decimal, we simply divide by 100. Now I think I have everything I need to solve for n. Um, I've got the general term 2000. I'm going to substitute all of these bits into that equation and see if I can get this. And we got uh, 20,000 here. Uh, the first term is 10,500. 10,500 times my common ratio is 1.045, 1.045, and I have to get that pesky n minus 1 up there. All right, now this is a good equation because it's, it's an equation where we're solving the variable is the exponent. We've never done that before in this class. So we're going we're gonna to do it for the first time now. Um, first up, I want to try to isolate this part of the equation. I want to solve for n. So I'm going to divide this side by 10,500. Divide. So I'm going to say 20,000. 20,000 divided by 10,500. And that is on that side now. So on the right side of the equation is just 1.045 n minus 1. Um, work this out on the calculator. Okay, now I just did, when I divided this, I do get a decimal that, it, you know, it, it's, not, it's not a pretty one. It's not a pretty one. So I did round that to four decimal places. That'll change my accuracy a bit. But if we're talking about people here to the nearest whole number, I, I think it's okay. All right. Now, now what we're going to do is something completely different, which we've never done before. We're going to use something called logarithms, and the abbreviation for that is, is log on our calculator. And logarithms we use to solve when the variable is an exponent. We solve that up there. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take the logarithm of both sides. We're going to log this and log that. That's what it looks like when I take the log of both sides. Not doing any calculator stuff just yet. Okay. Now, with logarithms, I've got the log of this number raised to this power. Um, when I have that, how do I simplify that? is I take this exponent and I multiply it to the log. So it looks like this. Um, I'm going to put that n minus 1 in brackets. n minus 1 times log 1.045. Now this step can be skipped in the working, but I just want to show that when we have a log raised to a power, it's the same as multiplying that exponent by the log. That's just a property of log. I've, I have other videos of that. Now, what I'm going to do 
is I want to see if I can get that n minus 1 by itself. And in order to do that, I'm going to divide this log by this log. So when I, okay, so when I say uh, log 1.9048 divided by log 1.045, what I'm left with is just n minus 1. Okay, so you can see that to solve for n, I'm going to do this log divided by this log, and then finally add 1 to the other side. Okay, so wh what I did was, I, I don't work this out and get a decimal just yet. I just say, okay, uh, that log divided by that log plus 1 equals n. And if I do that all on the calculator, I will get how many years it'll take for that population to get 20,000. Okay. So we should get, if we do this correctly on the calculator, about, about 15.6 years is when that population will hit about 20,000. Okay, and that's how you solve for n in a geometric sequence of a general term. Good stuff. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Pack it up.